Welcome back on an epic journey, as we unravel the remarkable tale of Lu Sheng, a beacon of hope born in poverty, wielding the divine gift of strength to defy destiny and safeguard humanity from its impending reckoning. In the previous chapter, we were introduced to the He family, whose once thriving pharmaceutical business has dwindled over the years. Now in the hands of He Lingsu, she is determined to revive the family's fortunes and restore its former glory. However, her efforts have been met with challenges. When He Lingsu discovered that Ma Fei had rented out her pharmaceutical lab without her knowledge, she was furious. But her anger turned to astonishment when she discovered the tonic Lu Sheng had created using ordinary ingredients. Recognizing its potential, He Lingsu saw an opportunity to collaborate with Lu Sheng and mass produce the tonic, a move that could help her achieve her dream of revitalizing the family business. Alright, folks, let's set our sights high today. Our goal is 600 likes. Hit that like button and subscribe right now. In base 1359, Lu Sheng found himself standing in the middle of a desolate street, facing a tall zombie with a missing left arm and a gaping wound on its chest. As he gazed towards the gap in the city wall, the zombie turned its head towards him, signaling an imminent confrontation. Despite the apparent danger, Lu Sheng remained composed, taking a step forward to meet the oncoming threat. The one-armed zombie wasted no time and charged towards him with relentless speed. Despite being outmatched in strength, Lu Sheng remained focused, relying on his experience and skills to navigate the encounter. He deftly countered every attack with precision and efficiency, exploiting the zombie's weaknesses while avoiding its formidable strikes. Though the zombie possessed superior speed and strength, it was ultimately no match for Lu Sheng's strategic prowess. With a well-timed punch to its forehead, Lu Sheng delivered a devastating blow that caused the zombie's head to explode, bringing an end to the confrontation. As the zombie's body disintegrated, its accumulated experience and skills transferred to Lu Sheng in the form of a black wisp of smoke. With a solemn chant, Lu Sheng absorbed the essence of the fallen foe, further enhancing his own abilities. As Lu Sheng absorbed the memories of the fallen zombie, he felt a profound sense of duty weighing on his shoulders. No longer did he view these creatures simply as sources of experience points, but rather as reminders of the responsibility he carried. With each memory absorbed, Lu Sheng's commitment to his path grew stronger. The memory of the one-armed zombie revealed its former status as a fifth-level warrior, a formidable powerhouse skilled in the art of boxing. Lu Sheng couldn't help but marvel at the strength and skill contained within the zombie's recollections, realizing the impact it would have on his own training. After nearly a week of dedicated practice, Lu Sheng felt the effects of his regimen taking hold. Though unsure of his exact progress, he sensed a significant increase in his qi and blood levels, indicative of his growing power. Even if he hadn't reached the standards of a second-level warrior, his combat abilities were undoubtedly on par. Reflecting on the secret techniques he had uncovered, Lu Sheng devised a new method of exerting force, which he aptly named Stellar Force. This technique allowed him to unleash bursts of power far beyond his normal limits, multiplying his combat effectiveness several times over. Excited by the potential of his discovery, Lu Sheng realized that Stellar Force had the potential to revolutionize martial arts worldwide. With determination in his heart, he continued his journey, ready to explore the full extent of his newfound abilities. As Lu Sheng roused from his dream, he found himself surprisingly refreshed, his mind clear and alert. It was a sensation he had grown accustomed to, a side effect of cultivating within his dreams, where his mind and body could rest even as he trained. Taking advantage, Lu Sheng wasted no time in resuming his training regimen. With dedication, he delved back into the stellar body refining technique, the natural breathing method, and continued to hone his understanding of the crystal concept. After a week of diligent practice, Lu Sheng's efforts bore fruit. His progress in mastering the crystal concept was remarkable, as he succeeded in constructing a crystal human figure, an achievement that marked his entry into the realm of this advanced martial art. With each passing day, Lu Sheng felt himself growing stronger, both mentally and physically. Encouraged by his progress, he looked forward to the challenges that lay ahead, confident in his ability to overcome them. Lu Sheng glanced at the clock and realized it was still early, just past eight in the morning. With the thought, he decided it was time to assess his current chi, blood, and combat power. If his measurements met the standard, he could proceed with the warrior assessment. Making his way to Hongchan Buguin, Lu Sheng approached the front desk to rent the necessary test equipment. The receptionist, a pretty young woman, greeted him with a smile. Back again so soon, huh? She quipped, her tone playful. Midterm exam worries? Lu Sheng was momentarily taken aback by her familiarity, then quickly understood. 
Indeed, this wasn't his first visit this month. His rapid growth and strength had prompted more frequent visits than usual, though such frequency was unusual for most. In the world of martial arts, where fluctuations in qi and blood played a crucial role, testing too frequently could lead to inaccurate results. Even the most rigorous institutions typically conducted monthly exams, recognizing the need for sufficient time between tests to allow for meaningful changes in strength to manifest. With a wry smile, Lu Sheng could only offer a vague and perfunctory response, acknowledging the unique circumstances of his accelerated growth. As Lu Sheng entered the familiar testing room, he casually located an instrument, deciding to begin with a blood test. With a soft beat, the machine swiftly produced a result. 15.632 the figure caught Lu Sheng off guard, prompting a surprised reaction. He hadn't anticipated such a significant increase. Reflecting on his recent regimen, he realized the combination of the advanced martial arts techniques from the future and the potent tonics had likely contributed to this remarkable growth. Considering the unparalleled benefits bestowed upon him by these advancements, it was no wonder his progress exceeded expectations. Let's test the combat power again, Lu Sheng declared with a glint in his eyes, gearing up to deliver a powerful punch at the force measuring instrument. Test the normal setting first, he muttered to himself as he aimed his fist at the instrument. With a resounding boom, a value promptly appeared on the screen of the force measuring instrument, 3137. The figure took Lu Sheng by surprise, far surpassing his expectations. It was double the standard value, leaving him momentarily stunned. Perhaps it's because of my improved boxing skills, he mused, tracing the source of the significant increase in his combat power. He recalled that he hadn't tested his combat power since his boxing techniques had advanced to a new realm, likely contributing to the remarkable surge. Realizing the potential implications of this newfound strength, Lu Sheng's excitement grew. Eager to explore further, he decided to test his ultimate combat power, employing the stellar force technique this time. Emerging from the dynamometer room moments later, Lu Sheng maintained his calm demeanor, betraying no hint of emotion. Is the test over? Are you satisfied with the results? The girl at the front desk inquired cheerfully. Lu Sheng smiled faintly, his charm accentuated by his composed demeanor. Very satisfied, he replied. Returning her smile, the girl at the front desk couldn't help but remark, Then I wish you the best of luck in your endeavors. Thank you, Lu Sheng responded, waving casually as he made his exit from the martial arts hall. As Lu Sheng neared the door, he noticed a tall, graceful woman walking alongside a young man of similar age, both of them passing by him. The woman was Ni Shuang, the daughter of Hong Chuan, the director of the martial arts academy. Observing his departure, the girl couldn't help but admire, you may act aloof, but you have a charming smile. Who are you talking about? Ni Shuang inquired as they passed by. Just a student renting an instrument for testing, probably from a nearby high school, the young man beside her replied casually, glancing at Lu Sheng walking out the door. Students like that, who can't even afford their own tester at home, probably won't score very well, Ni Shuang remarked with a glance back at Lu Sheng. The young man, with fair skin and a somewhat handsome appearance, smiled knowingly. His attire suggested a higher level of refinement than that of typical households, and his demeanor exuded a natural sense of superiority. Perhaps, Ni Shuang agreed, though she couldn't shake off a slight discomfort from the boy's tone. Nonetheless, she acknowledged the truth in his observation. In martial arts practice, resources play a significant role. A child from a prosperous family benefits from consuming various supplements since childhood. Ni Shuang hesitated for a moment, pondering whether to comply with the young man's request. She knew his intentions were more about boosting his ego than genuine curiosity about the other student's performance. The object of comparison should be the top students, not ordinary people, she reminded him sternly, hoping to deter him from pursuing this line of thought. However, the young man persisted, driven by his desire to assert his superiority. I just want to increase my self-confidence, seeing your sister Ni, please. He pleaded, appealing to her sense of compassion. Relenting, Ni Shuang finally agreed to check the test results. With a hint of satisfaction, the young man smirked, reveling in the prospect of confirming his assumptions. That guy is as thin as a bamboo pole, and his blood value is probably not even one. He should be a little older than me. He he. The young man muttered, relishing in his moment of perceived superiority. As the data appeared on the screen, the young man's expression underwent a sudden and dramatic change. 
Frozen in disbelief, he stared fixedly at the numbers, as if unable to comprehend what he was seeing. Then, breaking the silence with a shout of astonishment, he exclaimed, That guy! Can his blood value be so much higher than mine? Ni Shuang, too, was taken aback by the revelation. The assumptions she had made about the student moments ago were shattered in an instant. The young man she had dismissed as malnourished and from a poor family turned out to be an exceptional talent. Struggling to process the revelation, Ni Shuang's expression shifted from shock to incredulity. She couldn't reconcile the image she had formed of the student with the reality presented by the test results. Doubt crept into her mind, and she found herself questioning the reliability of the instrument. This instrument? Could it be malfunctioning? She mused, her tone tinged with uncertainty. The girl at the front desk, shaken by the unexpected turn of events, chimed in, impossible, it was overhauled yesterday. Her response was swift and firm, emphasizing the instrument's recent maintenance and dismissing any doubts about its accuracy. That means... Ni Shuang paused, taking a deep breath in an attempt to steady her racing thoughts. This achievement is real, she concluded, her voice carrying a mixture of surprise and acceptance. The girl at the front desk nodded, her expression reflecting the shock of the unexpected revelation. Now, immediately, find me the boy who just tested. Let everyone go. Ni Shuang's tone was urgent, her command leaving no room for hesitation. He often comes to our Hongchan martial arts school, he must not live far away. There must be someone nearby who knows him. Go. Yes, senior sister Ni. The girl at the front desk responded promptly, her previous bewilderment replaced by a sense of purpose as she rushed to carry out Ni Shuang's directive. With this, the chapter concludes. Don't miss out on the next installment. Hit that subscribe button and join us for the continuation of Lu Sheng's remarkable story.